लास्ट ईयर वी हैड अ स्टूडेंट नेम अर्जुन हु स्कोर नाइनटी एट पॉइंट फोर परसेंट आई इन जे ई मेन ही ऑल्सो स्कोर टू एटी मार्क्स इन बिट सैट बट यू नो वॉट ही स्कोर सेवेंटी फोर परसेंट इन बोर्ड्स ड्यू टू विच ही कुड नॉट गेट एडमिशन टू हिज ड्रीम कॉलेज Do you want the same to happen with you, or do you want ये जो 75 percentage वाला जो criteria है, इसको तुम बहुत high number से cross करो, और even तुम 90 percentage के ऊपर तो at least लेके ही आओ. So hello everyone, this is Kushal Sarkar from Fodu Club, and in today's video we are going to talk about कि how to get great percentage, 90 plus percentage in class 12th board exams along with your JE preparation. अभी दो साल से मुझे पता है कि तुम लोग जेई प्रिपरेशन में काफी ज्यादा बिजी हो बिकॉज ऑफ विच यू हैव लॉस द टच ऑफ राइटिंग आंसर्स, यू हैव लॉस द टच कि बोर्ड एग्जाम में आंसर्स कैसे लिखते थे बट नाउ इट्स द टाइम दैट यू डू सर्टेन थिंग्स एंड यू प्रिपेयर इन सर्टेन वे दैट विल प्रिपेयर यू वेल फॉर बोर्ड एग्जाम्स अदरवाइज यू वॉन्ट बी एबल टू परफॉर्म वेल इन बोर्ड एग्जाम्स एंड यू विल रिस्क योर एडमिशन टू द टॉप इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ दिस कंट्री इवन आफ्टर स्कोरिंग ग्रेट मार्क्स इन दीज कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स सो नोट डाउन ऑल ऑफ दीज पॉइंट्स वेरी केयरफुली एंड फॉलो दीज फॉर द नेक्स्ट वन टू वन पॉइंट फाइव मंथ्स एंड यू विल डू ग्रेट in board exams as well as in your je bitsat and je advanced so the number one point is the importance of writing ye jo do saal mein na you have lost the touch of writing answers and now this might seem like ki yaar main to answers likh lunga but this is not going to happen why because we often overestimate ourselves and humko lagta hai ki board exam to easy hai and hum easily ja ke answers apne words mein likh denge but that never happens you'll have to practice properly you'll have to give time every single day whenever you are solving a particular question suppose you are solving a previous year question of board exam then you'll have to make sure that you write that question we often make that mistake to we just read the answer or we just read the theory and we think that okay on the final day of the exam i'll write the same answer but that never happens my friend you'll have to practice it on a daily basis whatever you are studying for board exam whatever question and answers you are preparing you have to write it down make this a thumb rule from now that you'll have to write the answers and you have to learn and you have to relearn the art of framing answers once again if you want to score great marks in boards there are very small things when you write and frame your answers jaise ki answers ko point mein likhna ya paragraph mein likhna or writing the formula before solving a question which we generally don't do in jee we do the rough work kind of a thing and we generally don't follow a step and tum sab ye sari cheeze bhool chuke honge there's a proper way of presenting the answers in a proper manner so that is why again writing down your answers from now on is very very important remember this very first one पॉइंट नंबर टू दो साल पीसीएम तो दबा के पढ़े हो एंड पीसीएम हैज टेकन मोस्ट ऑफ योर टाइम बट यूल ऑल्सो हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ इंग्लिश एंड इन सब्जेक्ट्स में भी अच्छा स्कोर करना पड़ेगा फॉर यू टू गेट एन ओवरऑल ग्रेट परसेंटेज इन क्लास ट्वेल्थ सो दैट्स वाई डेली वन पॉइंट फाइव टू टू आवर्स ट्राई टू गिव टू दीज एडिशनल सब्जेक्ट्स बहुत ज्यादा एफर्ट नहीं लगता बिकॉज आई नो यू ऑल आर पी सी एम स्टूडेंट्स इतना तो दिमाग है कि ये लैंग्वेज एंड थियोरिटिकल सब्जेक्ट्स ऐसे ही कर लोगे बट अगेन वो चीज ओवर कॉन्फिडेंस में डेवलप नहीं होनी चाहिए मेक श्योर टू गिव 1.5 पॉइंट फाइव टू टू आवर्स एवरी सिंगल डे रीड एन सी आर टी वॉच वन शॉर्ट टाइप ऑफ लेक्चर जहां पर स्टोरी तुम्हें अच्छी तरीके से समझ आ जाए आफ्टर अंडरस्टैंडिंग द थ्योरी एंड द स्टोरी ऑफ इंग्लिश उसके बाद में कुछ प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन कर लो जैसे कि मैंने पॉइंट नंबर वन पे बोला प्रैक्टिस ऑल दी एंसर बाई राइटिंग दम एंड यूल बी गुड टू गो फॉर दीज सब्जेक्ट अदर देन दिस फॉर एडिशनल सब्जेक्ट मोस्ट ऑफ यू हैव टेकन physical education if you are preparing for jee now physical education is a cake walk it can be literally done in one week and i have done this myself and i scored 95 plus in physical education just by studying it for one week so jo bhi physical education ki book aati hai usko achhi tarike se read karo ya kahin se acche notes mil jate ho un notes ko acche se yaad kar lo you'll score great marks in physical education just wahi hai ki padhna padega you can't ignore it so study additional subject as well as your language subject properly point number 3 having proper notes now if you have been preparing for je i know that you will have notes that are je related and not boards related it's very important for you to have boards related notes now at this point you can't make your own notes right so that's why try to arrange some notes of a good topper you'll get a lot of good channels on youtube itself from which you can get good notes and you can follow those notes properly to cover your theory as well as questions and ultimately score great marks in boards the next point is derivations now please don't ignore derivations derivations is one of the 
most important thing in board exams and it takes a lot of effort to actually do these derivations but they actually do come in the exam especially in physics derivation have a lot of weightage so make sure to make a list of those derivations and do every single of those derivations properly because they hold a lot of marks in the actual board exams and derivations are something that even if you don't understand if you just remember them you can score great marks now other than derivations there are numericals in physics now believe me or not board skin numericals are a little bit on a difficult side every year students find the most difficult of all the subject in the board exams and physics is something that haunts them in the board exam so make sure as i told you do all the derivations properly and practice previous year numericals and master them now for chemistry inorganic is easy if you have studied inorganic chemistry properly you already know the theory just practice writing the answers and you'll be good to go but for organic chemistry there are certain things that you need to take care of like there is a good amount of theory as well as mechanisms such as sn1 sn2 you have to know these mechanisms properly ताकि बोर्ड एग्जाम में तुम इनको प्रॉपरली लिख सको देर इज ऑल्सो लॉट ऑफ थियोरिटिकल स्टफ इन ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री एज वेल एज फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री फॉर जे एंड बिट्स फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री इज मोस्टली न्यूमेरिकल बेस्ड बट इन बोर्ड एग्जाम फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री होल्ड अ लॉट ऑफ चंक फ्रॉम द थियोरिटिकल सेक्शन ऑल्सो सो दैट्स वाई फॉर फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री डेफिनेशन न्यूमेरिकल्स एंड थ्योरी इज ऑल्सो रिक्वायर्ड इन अ प्रॉपर वे सो दैट यू कैन गेट ग्रेट मार्क्स इन बोर्ड एग्जाम वेन वी प्रिपेयर केमिस्ट्री फॉर जे वी लर्न अ लॉट ऑफ ट्रिक्स लाइक टू बैलेंस अ केमिकल रिएक्शन we learn a lot of tricks to do that but in board reaction you can't use those tricks right you'll have to follow proper method and properly derive that reaction to reach the proper balanced chemical reaction this is just one example there are so many examples like this so you get my point you have to know the reason behind whatever you are doing you just can't rely on tricks because tricks are not going to work in board exam the next is obviously maths now maths is going to be very easy kyunki je ka maths is very very difficult so board exam ka maths is going to be a cake walk for you but again writing acche se aani chahiye and iske alawa there are also questions like prove this prove that you'll have to do all of that so my suggestion if you do ncert properly you don't have to do anything else you'll easily score at least 85 plus in board exam if you just do ncert properly now this was about ki how to manage your boards but we also have je right we cannot ignore that we also have bitsat right we cannot ignore that so how to manage je as well as bitsat or whatever engineering exam you are preparing for along with boards i have told you everything about boards now let's talk about je so i'll tell you what i used to do and it proved to be the most effective thing for the most amount of day for 70% of the day i used to study for boards from the morning to evening till my dinner and after my dinner i had a time slot of 3 to 4 hours and in those 3 to 4 hours i used to practice je previous year questions as well as whatever material that is needed to be solved of the chapters that i studied on that particular day suppose on that day i studied electrochemistry in physics i studied electromagnetism in maths i studied 3d geometry so basically Basically, what I'll do is I'll pick up the questions of J in that last three to four hours ka slot, and I will solve them. Isse kya hoga? I'll not lose touch from the J syllabus. Mera revision bhi saath mein hota rahega, and I'll get to know the parts that I'm forgetting while solving those questions. So I'll keep a note of that, and also I'll quickly revise them so that I do not forget those concepts. The last and the most important point of managing J with boards is to keep giving mock tests. ठीक है? Now don't worry about your syllabus or whatever you have forgotten just make sure to give mock test believe me it is the best way to keep in touch with JEE otherwise to ho sakta hai ki board exam you'll give properly but after board exams you'll be in a spot where you'll feel ki i don't know anything you'll be in a state of zero that i've almost forgot everything that i've studied for JEE so this should also not happen right there should be a proper balance between JEE and board exams so please don't make the same mistake that arjun made and get a good score in board exams and then crack your dream exam and get into your dream college so follow these points properly and if you want to know the detailed strategy of how to get great marks in bitsat and get computer science at bits pirani then click here and watch this video wish you all the very best sath mein phodenge